Hello everyone, we are here at the Galaxy Unpacked event where Samsung has just announced three new smartphones, the Galaxy S23, S23 Plus and the S23 Ultra. We got some time to play around with the devices ahead of the launch and let's go ahead and take a look at what's new and different in the new Galaxy S23 series. While the Galaxy S23 series brings iterative upgrades, there are some meaningful changes that are going under the hood and also on the exterior. Starting with the design, both the Galaxy S23 and S23 Plus feature the same floating camera design as you have seen in the Galaxy S23 Ultra and both the devices also come with the same rounded corners as the Ultra which offers a better grip when holding the device. Samsung has been talking a lot about sustainability and the Galaxy S23 series is no different. All the three smartphones are made from sustainable materials which includes the glass, the body and also the S Pen casing on the Galaxy S23 Ultra. In fact, the Galaxy S23 Ultra has 12 internal and external components that are made from recycled materials which is up from 6 in the Galaxy S22 Ultra. The Galaxy S23 series is powered by a customized Qualcomm chipset, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy. Yes, it is an exclusive chipset designed only for the Galaxy S23 series and it can have a maximum clock speed of up to 3.36 GHz, making it the fastest Snapdragon chipset ever. It supports features like faster AI, hardware accelerated real-time ray tracing and also cognitive ISP for real-time semantic segmentation to offer the best photography experience on your Galaxy smartphone. Connectivity-wise, there is a Snapdragon X70 modem RF system which offers high-speed 5G, high-speed Wi-Fi connectivity which is Wi-Fi 6E and you also get Bluetooth 5.3 as a part of the package. Now, let's talk about my favorite topic, cameras. The Galaxy S23 Ultra comes with a massive 200 megapixel ISOCELL HP2 image sensor. It uses super quad pixel technology to have all the 200 million pixels work together to offer up to 1.5 times faster autofocus. But that's not all about it. It can also record 8K 30fps videos, which is up from 8K 24fps in the Galaxy S22 Ultra. And then the camera can also intelligently adapt based on the lighting condition that you are clicking a photo. So if you are clicking a photo in low light scenarios, it can win anywhere between 4 to 16 adjacent pixels to capture bright, crisp and grainy less photos of up to 50 megapixel or even 12.5 megapixel resolution. Apart from that, the camera also features three more camera sensors. One is a 12 MP ultra wide lens and then there are two telephoto lenses one offering 3x optical zoom and other offering 10x optical zoom both having a resolution of 10 megapixel coming to the galaxy s23 and s23 plus you get a 50 megapixel primary camera you get a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera and you get a 10 megapixel telephoto lens with up to 3x optical zoom in case of front camera all the three smartphones come with a 12 megapixel sensor and they also support expert raw mode now and you can also record selfie videos of up to 4k 60 fps resolution now that's a great addition apart from that there is also a new astro hyperlapse mode which is supported by all the three galaxy smartphones which lets you capture astro photography so that's it from our first impressions and the first look of the Galaxy S23 series. We'll bring more content, so stay tuned for that. And until then, like, share and subscribe. Bye now.